whilst other YouTubers are still saying that perhaps Neo needs to change management and mistakes were made in the past. They were right, some mistakes were made in the past, but why am I not of the same opinion that we need to change management is because I see where we have corrected our mistakes. Every company makes mistakes. And this is why I have confidence and why I keep buying and I'm up to 11,572 shares and I will keep buying. So while they are saying, still saying, perhaps we need to change management, I see where the company is evolving and going forward and improving. But also I see where our leader, Emperor William Lee, came up with a genius business model that is the only sustainable business model in the EV industry. And eventually all will have to bend the knee to Emperor Lee. And when I say that, what I mean is they will all have to adopt the battery as a service where it's just common sense, right? A fixed battery, after the life of that battery, the EV is also done, like a power tool back in the day and you throw it away. So Emperor Lee had the genius, genius idea where everyone should benefit from common prosperity, where you rent the battery, et cetera, et cetera. And I've spoke about this in depth uh, on this channel. So what has just happened yet again? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. It is yummy for the tummy yet again. So whilst the, some of the other YouTubers are pooping in their pants continuously, Money Making Mitch is the, one of the only YouTubers who come out and says, minor speed bumps. Keep buying the dips, guys. Hold the line, Neo Lions. Mm. The great living legend Warren Buffett said, the stock market is a tool for taking wealth from the impatient and giving it to the patient. And as long as you have patience and understand the business model and see where we're going, you have no fear. So Neo deliveries. Well, let's start with this. Neo to have its own dedicated smaller stations for the uh, Firefly brand. And this is yet again genius. They're going to have a, a swap station that is the size of a shipping container, not too big, so it's not going to be costly, but yet it will also be able to dispense beverages. It will be on the, you know, the new platform, the generation four platform. And I think the reason why they're doing this, I was talking to Money Melvin, Money Making Melvin in Florida last night, and he said, Zika, Geely, SAIC, a lot of them make small cars. So it will probably be retrofitted for their cars that are coming that's going to be battery swap capable. Genius. Genius. So Neo to have its own dedicated smaller uh, swap station for Firefly. Huawei cuts its FSD full self-driving by $4,130 between July 1st and December 31st. Xiaomi says SU7 deliveries exceeded 10,000 in June. Zika delivered a record 70,106 cars. Yes, Zika, which is owned by Geely, the same company that's doing going to be doing battery swapping with us. They're up 8%. Xiaopeng, which is lower end, delivered 10,668 in June. Impressive. It's a, like a 5% increase or something like that. But remember, they're releasing Mona. So I expect their delivery numbers to also go up uh, higher than this. But what about us? What about Neo? What are we doing? 10,000, that's a lot from Xiaomi. Well, <laughs> and Xpeng, 10,000, that's a lot. Well, Neo delivered a record 21,209 cars in June. Booyaka! Shots fired. This is why I say to hold the line, Neo Lions. Mm -hmm. And I saw on Facebook <laughs> at one of the auto shows going, oh yeah, there are more auto shows going on. At one of the auto, show, auto shows going on right now in China, one of the sales rep, beautiful young lady, 
she has a mic and she's walking through the crowds and she's saying, you can trade in your BMW, Benz, Audi, BBA for a Neo, come take a look and take a look indeed they are. And it's gaining more popularity and more people are talking about us and more people are buying this technological superior alien technology EV that is boggling people minds. It was the second consecutive month of record monthly deliveries for NEO sending quarterly deliveries to a rare beat of its guidance range. Yes, we beat our guidance and expect this to continue. NEO delivered a record number of vehicles last month sending second quarter deliveries unexpectedly above guidance. The electric vehicle maker delivered 21,209 vehicles in June beating May's previous record of 20,544 vehicles for its second consecutive record month according to data released today. And with the Chinese government just giving millions to each county in China to build out uh, charging stations and battery swap stations, who do you think that will benefit guys? Yes, Neo will be in the forefront of benefiting yet again. Mm-hmm. Because even the Chinese government, just like the Abu Dhabi boys, just like Tencent, just like Alibaba, just like BlackRock, just like Vanguard, just like a lot of your pension funds uh, in America and hedge funds recognize, and that's why they bought millions and millions of shares. That's up 98.9% .9 from the 10,707 vehicles delivered in the same month last year, and up 3.24% from May. Mm -hmm. Neo's strong performance in June may have been due to the continued positive impact of the tweaks it made to its battery as a service rental service fee in March. <laughs> so you see, whilst others are lowering the price of their cars, and while we learn from uh, Tesla's mistake where they kept lowering the price of their cars and now people are really angry because they've lost a lot of value in their car even after two weeks of month of buying it. Yes, Huawei is doing the same thing instead of lowering the price of their car just like us what they're doing they learn from us they're lowering their full self-driving instead they don't have bad service but they're lowering their full self-driving instead of the price of the car so that the current owners as well as the people are getting ready to buy, they all benefit. <clears throat> so the positive impact of tweaks is made to its battery as a service, rental service in March, as well as the overall rebound in China's EV industry. The company delivered a record 57,373 vehicles in the second quarter. Let me say that again. The company delivered a record 57,373 vehicles in the second quarter surpassing the previous record of 55,000 vehicles in the third quarter of 2023. This is an increase of 143.93% year on year and up 90.91% from the first quarter. And Onboard did not release yet. If you want to sell your shares, I told you guys, 50 every week, that's all I want. Don't put more than that to sell. I don't want other people to grab them up. The quarterly deliveries exceeded the upper end of the guidance range of between 54,000 and 56,000 vehicles provided by NEO when it announced its first quarter result on June the 6th. NEO had previously guided second quarter revenue to be between uh, $2.28 billion, a growth of about 89.1% to 95.3% from the same period in 2023, and we beat that. The company currently delivers eight models that we all know about. <clears throat> so the SUV delivered 11,581 vehicles last month, up 81.44%. So the SUV stays as the most desired vehicle in China. Remember this again, we keep out delivering not just Xiaomi, but high end, not just expand, but high end BBA. We are delivering them, Benz, BMW, and Mercedes, and sorry, and Audi. We are out delivering the high end premium luxury EVs in China. Mm -hmm. 
sedan models delivered 9,628. So why is this so important to take note of? Why did the SUVs out deliver? And how is that so important? Well, you see, that lion killer Ladao on board that's coming out is an SUV at an affordable price. Boom, boom, boom. How you like them apples, boys? Mm -hmm. In the first half of the year, Neo delivered 87,426 vehicles, up 60.24% year on year. But see, the analysts don't say this because they want the shorts to keep it down. But you can only keep a volcano down for so long and the shorts will end up like Pompeii. I keep saying it. And watch what happens when Ladao comes out. Mm -hmm. SUV models delivered 50,371 units in the first half of this year, up 140.76%, contributing to 57.62% of all deliveries. Sedan models delivered 37,055 vehicles, up 10.15%. Since its inception, NEO's cumulative delivery stand at 537,020 vehicles according to data complied by CNEV ports. So you see how quickly now we're escalating our deliveries. Like Emperor Lee said, from the 500,000, the next 500,000 would not be take us that long to achieve. The first 500,000 took us some time, but the second 500,000 is not gonna take us that long. In addition, and especially with Firefly, all the brands coming out on the Firefly, all the brands coming out on the um, uh, Envo, sorry, not Envo, Alps, Envo is just one of them. So imagine next year when we release that other brand on the Envo, that bigger SUV. Mm -hmm. In addition to neo branded vehicles, the company is set to begin delivering models on its sub brand Envo in the third quarter, in the third quarter coming September 10th. Very soon, Neo officially launched the Envo brand on May 15 and began pre-sales of the Envo L60 at the time at the pre-sale price of RMB 219,000. So, you see, guys, this is why when people are saying the management probably need to change, uh, we need share buybacks, uh, the company is trash, the stock is trash. I keep buying and I will keep buying because I understand that this company is going to make me a millionaire. I found a gem. In the past, I saw gems but could not recognize it. I was a young Paduan. Now I am a Jedi master. I hope you guys found this video to be information, inspirational, and motivational on a Monday morning. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we're waking up the middle class for the first time to get a, get a piece of the pie. And like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.